I totally agree with you, man. Like whether it's audiobooks, podcasts, um, the weekly calls. No matter what it is, um, I've always found that, I think I was talking about this on last week's call or what, whatnot. When I was first getting into sales, I remember instead of listening to freaking Tupac and Biggie on the way to work, like all my, my uh, other sales guys were doing, I was listening to Brian Tracy sales trainings or Brian Tracy, how to better your, your relationship or your marriage. Or I was always working on my mental game during those, those times where I could easily just zone out and go down the path most people go down, um, which is just listen to music or whatever. Um, and so I think like, I, 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 I totally agree with you on the, on the sense that those, those small little inspirational stories you hear, or those, the one little tidbit that maybe took you from having a negative day to a positive day, um, to the mental clarity that, like you said, when you're in the grocery store and you run into that person and you just heard something about, you know, whatever, it, it, it means a lot, like keeping yourself tuned into the game. I always look at like professional athletes. I know you were a professional poker player, like to be the best man. And, and you want to, if you want to play it at, at pro levels of anything, then you got to be tuned into your, your, your sport and our sport is specifically business and lead generation and whatnot. You gotta be tuned into your sport at all times. You can't, it, you, you don't have the ability to take off a day, a week or whatever some of us do. And we want, some of us wonder why, Oh man, why is why is Patrick? You know, I got this opportunity to get four thousand, you know, potential clients from this one deal, and I don't. And you know, oftentimes it's, you know, you're not playing professional ball yet. You're playing amateur ball. And yeah, you you went to practice Tuesdays and Thursdays like my son's t-ball team. No wonder you know he's not a pro. You know, you're not practicing morning, noon, and night. I remember when I played D1 college football, man, I, I didn't go to school. I went to football. Like that school was a by, byproduct of just us having to be there. But we, we got up, we, we did workouts, we had training table, we had this, we had that. And that was just, that was high level college athletics. The same thing is true in business at all days tuned in, you know, Monday through Sunday, you're tuned in, man. You're watching film, you know, in this case, you're watching a different type of film, but it's no mm -hmm. different than a pro athlete, a pro po poker player, anyone that wants to be making pro money. It's you got to stay tuned into your craft or tuned into the people in your sphere that are going to keep you freaking jacked up, motivated and pushing towards your ultimate goal.